Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to BSV TV. I'm your host, Sir Toshi, and on this show, we'll be defending the one and only truly genuine Bitcoin. The Bitcoin that Satoshi Nakamoto designed in his white paper as a peer to peer electronic cash system for the world. Let's get the disclaimers out of the way. So all the statements that you hear on this show are opinion and must only ever be taken as opinion. They are never to be taken as any form of advice, family, financial, sexual or otherwise. And on that note, let's sit back, relax, have some fun and enjoy the show. Get paid for your content in Bitcoin and set your own fee on Streamanity. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I wasn't asked why I'm convinced. Craig is Satoshi. Um, I posted on, on Reddit, he signed in my presence uh, the private, using the private key from block one, block number one, the very first mined Bitcoin block uh, on a computer that I'm convinced had not been tampered with, on software I'm convinced that had not been tampered with, a message of my choosing. At Enchain, we've just funded a number of universities doing, so far, a test up to one gigabyte because it validates what we've already done independently. We've tested up to 380 gigabyte blocks. We have tested 1 million transactions a second and transaction sizes up to 20 megabytes. Super complex scripts, basically ones that can run operating systems. That's basically all of global commerce times about 50. On top of that, we can have complex scripts. On top of that, we can scale each of those transactions 1,000 times, which effectively means about a billion transactions per second, which means we can then have all derivatives, all complex trades. That means high frequency trading. It means everything that happens globally. Is the market that effectively BSV is going for, is that global e-commerce, which is currently valued at $29 trillion? No, that's just yeah. more. Buy and sell Bitcoin instantly at bsvgravity.com. And you can now book and pay for your winter holiday at skibsv.com. Oh, good afternoon, everybody. It looks like we are live at five once again, but I need to sort my screen out. And here we go. This is what we're after. Coin dance. There we go. Let's have a look at the health of the network. The quick rundown. It's almost like the equivalent to the uh, crypto weather forecast. Looks okay. It looks okay. <clears throat> Let's have a uh, quick look at uh, the uh, price charts. See what is going on there. I mean, it's an absolute joke. Look, I mean, what Litecoin that's overtaken Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, Polkadot. I mean, like honestly, how many stupid names can they uh, can they come up with for these complete and utter shit coins? You know, I mean. It's that would be a little topped out. I mean, like, why? Um, they don't do anything. Literally, they don't do anything. People are literally hearing these stories. They're thinking it could be the next Bitcoin. All of these prices that you see are a speculative price against the fundamental value of Bitcoin. Because they think they will all do what Bitcoin did. All oh, right, I think Bitcoin's topped out. We'll try something else now. Oh, yeah, now this new thing's come out. There's an, Now there's a new story come out. Cross-chain decentralized interoperability. All that crap crap you know um but they're, they're, they're not commodities they have no fundamental understanding i've been watching a few um uh, presentations uh, recently by the guy who authored the bitcoin standards and it's like even he hasn't got a clue literally not a clue um so it just goes to show you like you know how far ahead we are and i can explain why he hasn't got a clue which he doesn't understand and nobody else has seemed to figure it out yet so you know i never really thought of myself as being particularly quick but you know, um, where we are speaks for ourselves. And obviously, uh, the people who listen to my show seem to understand what I'm talking about. And they have a fundamental understanding of this. And they're like, yeah, this is this is Bitcoin. We, we understand this. You know, I mean, I have come across a few just you know, intellectually challenged individuals in BSV, but they don't last long. You know, they're just, they're just like looking at all these shit coins going, oh, I love that, I love that. And it's like, it's just like, well, look, you know, you may as well just go down the casino, put your money on red or black. You know, uh, I mean, it's just a pump. You never know when it's going to dump because the price is just completely manipulated. You know, um, yeah, it's uh, a shambles, absolute shambles. But let's see what's going on the price today. Ooh, dip below, um, below, uh, below one hundred ninety dollars. 
So uh, yeah, currently $189 according to uh, according to CoinCap there, but never 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 mind about that. Never mind about that. And talking about centralized shit coins, check this out. <laughs> This was a post by uh, Satoshi Vision Australia. I think this uh, this might be uh, Paul from WeatherSB, maybe. I'll have to uh, do some digging and find out. Uh, but this was uh, this was his post. So he said, Bitcoin ABC, in brackets, Armory Sachet, have announced they will implement an 8% IFP tax uh, for the BCH block reward to an address they control in November hard fork. I mean, this is so embarrassing. They don't understand. They literally have no clue about what money is. You know, and there's Roger running around going, oh, yeah, appear to be cash for the world. No, it's a centralized system that Bitcoin Cash is on. Now, they, these people honestly feel they, they have the power to implement a tax. I mean, if that isn't centralized, I don't know what is. It's absolutely insane. We're going to tax you because we want your money and we'll decide where we spend it. How about no? <laughs> Unless you are a government a democratically elected government, you have no right to impose taxes on anybody. You know, um, well, if these douchebags want to pay it, but, uh, you know, then, but that wouldn't be a tax. It would be a voluntary contribution. Whereas uh, they're now actually sort of like, you know, putting this tax on it. It's, um, honestly, just absolute schoolboy, absolute schoolboy. I'm so glad, yeah, they, I'm so glad they effectively stood up as a group and said, right, we are a bunch of douchebags. We will see you later. It's like, okay, boys, bye-bye. See you later. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Good grief. Uh, and uh, check this out. So we've got five hours left of this poll. So, uh, and I said here, like, considering it took CoreCoin, BTC, 11 months to go from uh, $1,000 to 10000 how long do you think it will take uh, Bitcoin, once it reaches 1000 to also reach 10000 and some people are saying like 12 months. I mean, like me, I'm a maxi and I have a fundamental understanding and like obviously I'm super bullish. I mean, the, the question is, when will it get to 10 grand? Uh, so when will it get to a grand? You know, after that, it is just going to absolutely explode, you know. Um, so, I mean, between 10 and um, between one and 10, I'd go for one and four months. I mean, this is this sort of like represents the difference between those with fundamental understandings and those that are just kind of like you know maybe a little bit tenter about it. Um, but yeah, I'm 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 certainly in there. But I mean, have have a look. Let's have a look at this on uh, on Corecoin. Uh, we'll just go to uh, more details overall, so we can actually see this in front of our eyes. I mean, I mean, look 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 at this. Look at this. So uh, let's see where it was. Um, One thousand dollars. So it hit a thousand dollars, February fifteenth. Yeah, look at that, February fifth. So February, we'll take it, twenty seventeen. And look at this. And so this was December. So yeah, eleven months. Just eleven months. You know, it, it went from it went from a thousand dollars to well, actually, it went to uh, twenty thousand dollars. What am I talking about? <laughs> Yeah, and, and this was pure speculation. There was no, there was no real fundamentals behind this. There were no massive, um, you know, funds like Fidelity or hedge funds, you know, charging at this, going, oh, this is genuine. Whereas now, when this starts, these people will have a fundamental understanding. They'll realise where they're going wrong. Literally, it will be absolutely astronomical. Absolutely astronomical, in my opinion. <laughs> just need to, uh, just need to put that out there, but. Yeah, inter interesting, um, in interesting survey there. Uh, this was uh, another one of my posts. So it said, uh, <laughs> I just thought this was quite interesting. Michael Burry versus Sir Toshi's Portfolio Wars. Who will win? So I was like, ah, oh, like, check it out. So this was uh, Michael Burry, uh, famous for being uh, for having his character played in um, uh, The Big Short. So it said, this was uh, the breakdown of Michael Burry's uh, trading and investing portfolio positions. Uh, from his firm's 13F filings as of the second quarter of 2020. Um, I mean, he's obviously he's done his research and stuff, but here's me. <laughs> here's me. Uh, where are you, Satoshi? 100% in Bitcoin. 100%. I have done my research. I have done my research. Uh, yeah, that that is that's where. That's I'm not going to change that either. <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, I, uh, I've I've already been through the wars. Pfft, I'm not really. Uh, I'm not. I'm, I don't care. I'm beyond caring. Beyond caring. 
Uh, this was just quite, a, you know, I suppose, an interesting article. Um, so this was by a uni lad, or a lad bible. It said, uh, sex workers are angry after uh, Bella Thorne earns one million on, uh, on fans only. And I think she, I think there was a, she earned this in like 24 hours, do you know what I mean? Set for life within, uh, within 24 hours, pretty much. You know, that's, that's all right, isn't it? You know, well, I mean, uh, I mean, I've not, I've not actually heard of OnlyFans, but I mean, uh, how about OnlyFans Bitcoin? <laughs> you know, um, there's obviously a lot of money. I mean, I presume they're just being paid that in, uh, you know, in dollars. I'm not really bothered about the rest of the article, you know, but I'm just saying, you know, million dollars in 24 hours. <sighs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't sniff at that. Um, uh, check this. I saw this move. So there were two of these earlier. Uh, so this was by a Clank, biggest blockchain transactions. So this was just um, earlier today. 11,886 BTC moved from multiple addresses to unknown wallet. And that's uh, $136 million. It's all right, isn't it? <laughs> uh, and I think there were actually, there were two uh Two reports of that, they're, they're very similar. Um, like, uh, just, wow, now there's another 12,000. Um, crikey, 12,000 BTC being moved. I mean, they're all similar amounts. Look, 138 million. Um, where was the other one? Another one, 138 million. Yeah, so a slightly different amount. That was 12,001. That's 12,002 BTC. Um, something is going on, ladies and gentlemen. Something is going on. 11,998 BTC. So, I mean, look at this. This is huge. And this is another one. See, look, there's a different. That's 11,989. That's 11,988. So, they're all within a short space of each other. Like 100, I bet you'll round it up, $140 million. So, that's, and there's another one here. Look, another one. 11,966. I mean, this and another one, 11,966. I mean, 11,963. Something is going on. Something's going on. You know, they are huge amounts. Huge amounts. I mean, it gets me excited because, you know, it could be what we think. It could be. Don't want to speculate just yet. You know, but... Whew, they, I mean, what on earth do you need that many amount? You know, what on earth do you need 138 million for, and then another 138 million for? You know, unless it's for a particular purpose. You know, to destroy something rather large. Um, yeah, you know, exciting stuff, people. Like, hang on to your seats. That's um, that's what that's all. That's all I'll uh, I'll say. I'll, all I'll say on that one. Um, uh, oh, Steve Patterson making pointless uh, comments again. Oh, look at this. So uh, I, I, uh, I stated on this one, I was like, whoa. So this was, I'd, I'd, I've never seen this before. The United States is suing 280 virtual currency accounts. <laughs> that should be a little bit shocking to um, shitcoiners, you know, who seem to think this is censorship resistant money and stuff like this. See, uh, North Korea's um, documented hacking of viral currency exchanges. Uh, in its August 2019 report, the panel of experts established by the United Nations Security Council to investigate compliance with sanctions against North Korea. Uh, note that the North Korean government uh, has used uh, cyberspace to launch increasingly. Blah, blah. Uh, so maybe maybe they suspect um, these addresses are owned by North Korea. You know? um, who knows? Who knows? But I mean, watch this space. Let's just... Uh, Let's just see what happens, and shall we? You know, maybe, uh, maybe that's why they're after them. So I said, <laughs> simple question: Why would I want to cash out my crypto and use Visa? <laughs> why? Why would I want to? <laughs> why would I want to? Uh, it's Visa that will be switching to the Bitcoin BSV network. So it's your business model that is flawed. I'd recommend changing it quickly. You know, honestly, it's just I mean, look, and they got the Lightning in their profile as well. I'm like, seriously, boys. You know, like, like, oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. You can cash out your crypto so you can just uh, spend your fiat. No, I don't want to spend my fiat. I want to be spending crypto. I'm going to be spending and using Bitcoin. Yeah, honestly, the crypto douchebags have absolutely no clue whatsoever. You know, uh, just, I mean, they're just totally, they just don't understand the point of crypto. 
They don't understand that this is a digital commodity. The first time we've ever had commodity money in a digital version. It's the best form of money we've ever had. And they're like, oh, you know, dump that crap and uh, get out of your lovely fear. Um, uh, and so, uh, yeah, the last article that I just wanted to go over was this Roger Ver one. I thought this was uh, really quite funny. Um, you know, I mean, sort of a... Uh, Craig, Craig being the way he is, like he'll, he'll, he'll be keeping tabs and keeping an eye on everyone. And Roger was probably thinking, oh, you know, it's over. No, it's not, mate. Here we go. This was a, an article by Coinge. It says, lawsuits welcome Roger Ver in Antigua Barbuda. Uh, let's, uh, let's just have a quick go through this. Here we are. I mean, yeah, I think he would have got a bit of a, a shock from this. He's like, oh, can I, go, can I not go anywhere? No, mate, you broke the law. Uh, you know, you crossed Craig. You tried to destroy Bitcoin. <laughs> you got it coming. Like, you can run, but you can't hide. It is now time for ding-a-dong, people. <laughs> Let's get it on. Put those lovely hand cash handles and pay mails in the chat box. Let's do this. So anyway, it is the weekend. It is a Saturday. I, I try and do a show almost every day. I literally, I'm almost like addicted to Bitcoin. It's my form of therapy. Um, there is never a dull moment. There is always something going on. I absolutely love Bitcoin, as you can probably tell, because I can understand the positive effects that it's going to have on the world. I, you know, I, I always knew there was something wrong with this world, but I could never put my finger on it because there was never a solution to it. You know, the problem is money, money, and Bitcoin solves this. It solves the problem of waste. You know, it just means that producers of goods and services are now going to be competing even more because they'll actually want your money. Um, so they will be reducing their own prices in order for you to give you their money. They will be increasing the quality of the goods and services. None of this built-in obsolescence crap. Honestly, it is going to be an absolute paradigm shift for the better, you know, and encouraging good behavior and, and everything else. So, you know, if you want to get your uh, hands on BSV, there's an advert coming up in just a mo. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, share it out if you did enjoy it. And uh, I'll see all you guys soon. Take it easy. Cheers. Buy BSV.live, the best place to buy Bitcoin SV online.